Mucho gracias, everybody. Mucho gracias. Hola. My name is Sofia Vergara. And I am Easy Breezy, beautiful cover girl from Colombia. Happy Halloween. As you can see, I put my pumpkins out. set, everyone. Look at the beautiful set. How about my beautiful set, everyone? This set is so beautiful, everyone. It's so pretty. Beautiful. For Sofia Vergaro, but it's hard being this beautiful, so busy with Cover Girl and Diet Pepsi and Burger King and my clothing line, the award winning Modern Family. I get so much work with this fake accent. It's, people think it's real. I don't know why people think it's real, but I, I am so. Can you? <laughs> I mean, what is this? What is this? What is this? You know what it is. It happened My to you. My dress was not like that. Yes, it was like that. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> teach me some Spanish. So okay. I'm trying to get your accent, but I don't think I have it right. I'll teach you okay. some Spanish. Okay. Yo soy una hermosa mujer colombiana. Yo soy hermosa mujer colombiana. Estoy orgullosa de mi cuerpo y de mis pechos. Do you know what she's saying? <laughs> it just sounds sexy. Oh, no, so then the ghost on, then the ghost on, then the pechos. Um, vamos a bailar. Vamos a bailar. What does that mean? Vamos a bailar. Oh, please, with that dress, you should know. It's let's go dancing.
That's great. All of you look so good. I've been watching you backstage. What great outfits. And yes. thank you so much for going to so much trouble, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, you look great. Who are you, Tony? I'm a fortune teller. You're a fortune teller. Absolutely. Can you tell that it's going to be a great show? Absolutely. I did you know it. Sofia Vergara was back there? No, I did not. Well, then you're not a fortune teller. <laughs> I did not know that. It's hard when we're standing next to each other to tell who's who. I can't tell the difference. I know. It's almost like you don't even know if Ellen left, and this is Sophia right here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is so ridiculous. You don't understand what is going on back here. There's so much <laughs> happening. I'm sorry, Sophia. She's so much prettier than this. A couple of weeks ago, we sent a woman from our audience named Lisa. She went through our haunted hallway backstage, and uh, she was very, very scared. But she had her purse with her, and she never dropped her purse the entire time. <laughs> it made me so happy watching her go through it. <laughs> I thought, well, how can I reward her for doing that? And I thought, well, I'll send her to Not Scary Farm. And I didn't want her to go alone, so I sent Amy with her. Enjoy. Oh, no! OK, I got you, girl. I got you. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> OK, girl. I always, I always think someone is behind you, just so you know. Not even in haunted houses, just like in life. <laughs> We had uh, we scared some of you with our uh, with Duracell's help. Take a look. to power all their pumpkins and flashlights tonight, so you're all going home with a $100 Walgreens gift card. Yeah. Yeah. Our first guest
Alice is often mistaken for my wax figure and sometimes for her role as Sue Sylvester on the hit show Glee. Her new movie, Wreck It Ralph, opens Friday. Please welcome Jay Lynch! How's yeah. that? Yeah. I won't move. It's a very appropriate costume. You were the character. What is the character's name? Sergeant? Sergeant Calhoun. Calhoun. And, and uh, the, the video game is called Hero's Duty, and it's a first person uh, shooter game. Very violent and like a virtual experience of war. Cool. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah well, I love them. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and this is, uh, uh, did they make this no. for you? Yes, they, your, uh, Rick, your wardrobe person made this. Really? All by her lonesome. Yes. Wow, that's... Let's hear from Rick. That's very cool. Isn't this cool? Yeah. That's I mean, it amazing. looks like metal. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it's the neatest thing. And comfortable. You'll be wearing that probably all what, day long. What will Maybe you be for, the next for Halloween. Um, I, let's see. I'm probably going as Mitt Romney. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, have a high top and a monocle, and uh, my wife is going as Paul Ryan. But workout Paul Ryan. She's uh -huh. gonna wear the uh, backwards baseball cap, the yeah. iPod, and show off her biceps and. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. And do you have parties to go to and everything? Dressed well, we like do. That? You know, I have an 11 year old, and she's going as Pikachu, which is retro now, believe it or not. And uh, we'll be going to some parties. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Very cool. I didn't like Halloween as a kid, though. Why not? Um, I, you know, I'm an actress, and I'm all about look at me, look at me, look at me. But when I was a kid, I was afraid that I'd be, I'd show up. I'm looking at Big Bird. This is hilarious right now. <laughs> um, I would thought I would show up and be the only one in the costume, and my mother would make me an adorable little costume, and I would force her to go to the store and buy me a dime store. You know, the, the crappy thing with the mask and. You know, like I had this cute little uh, uh, pirate outfit and I wouldn't wear it that my mom made for me. Oh, Isn't that's that a shame. Now yeah. you'd wear it, wouldn't you? I'd be in a second. Yeah. It probably wouldn't fit right now, but I would indeed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a shame. You tweeted out a photo of a clown that uh, I want to ask you about. Mm -hmm. let's, let's look at the... the... <laughs> Why were you a clown? Um, well, the Aaron, who did my makeup today, uh, did that. Um, that is for the Out, Out Magazine 100. Obviously, uh, uh, it's the, a sad clown. I think clowns are very freaky. Really? They freak me out. So you would not, be, you would not want your daughter to dress as a clown. Oh. You would not dress as a clown. <laughs> no, I, I don't think there's anything. Um, it's just, they're just too sad. It's like, look how happy I am, but I'm not happy. Do at they all. scare you? They scare the hell out of oh, me. <laughs> It's like, look how happy I am, but I'm not happy Do at they all. scare you? They scare the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than being scared like that. It's the worst. I just saw a thing on YouTube of a guy where they scared a guy in a high school, and a clown came out and went, wah, and he punched him in the in face. In the face, yeah, yes. <laughs> that is the dangerous part of it. It is, yes. Yeah. He's lucky. Yeah. I, can't, I couldn't turn around. I, I know, I saw I you. I have limited Why mobility. I Why I oughta? I'm going to get you. I should have coulda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, That's let so you uh, relax a little bit. We're going to take a break. We're going to have uh, a fun game with audience. I'm relaxed. Me too. Yeah. This is good. We'll be right back. <laughs> back with Jane Lynch. So Jane has a background in improv, which I'm very jealous of. I think that would be so fun to do that. And I, I thought we would have fun with some audience members. So I'm going to call down uh, Hannah Budke and <laughs> Latish Grajeda, Jennifer Chapman, and Kaylin Parks. <laughs> I'm going to hug you. You look like you were frightened. Hold on, Ellen. Um, all right, you go that way. All right. 
So I'll right tell you what we're doing in just a minute, but I assume you are Taylor Swift. Yeah. That is her little kitty right there. Meredith. Yes, Meredith. And you are? A loofah. A loofah? A loofah sponge? All That's right. Good. And you are? A garden gnome. A garden, garden gnome. And you are? A hot one night stand. A one night stand. A hot one, yes. a hot one night stand. <laughs> That's, uh, that's fantastic, R really clever. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Um, Jane is going to make up a movie that you all happen to be in mm -hmm. together. She's gonna come up with the name of the movie, uh, a plot, and all of your characters and what you're mm -hmm. doing in that movie based on your costumes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. The name of this movie is Bloodbath. <laughs> and it's a horror movie. Um, a young woman, an aspiring singer and songwriter, uh, gets into the bathtub with her cat. And she loofahs a bit too hard <laughs> and begins to bleed. Uh, she, she slips into unconsciousness and dreams that she's in her garden and runs into her gnome, who tells her, hey, you know what? You can come back to life if you have sex with your nightstand. <laughs> Night-night, kids. <laughs> That's a nice, wholesome story yeah. that you came up with. That's fantastic. All right, thank you all for being here. It was uh, amazing, uh, very clever. And uh, Wreck-It Ralph is in theaters this Friday, and we will be right back. We have prizes backstage for you. Hola! Every once in a while, I have to do that. It makes me so happy to have our next guest here for Halloween. You know her as one of the hilarious stars of The Office. Please welcome Ellie Kemper! <laughs> Choose Prince Harry. Well, well, well. Now this is Ellie speaking. Okay. Um, I have oh, red okay. hair. And now get that back into reality. Sure, make Ellen. sure I know the difference. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's hard. Okay. Sometimes I disappear into my characters. Yeah. I I have red hair in real life. Uh -huh. Um. So I wanted to be someone with red hair. Right. And the options are limited. You know, we're dying out. Like we are. That's that's actually proven. Is that really true? We, yeah. We're. Yes, it's like 2% and dying, but... Wow. Um, I didn't know you were extinct. That's I, like you're on an endangered list or something like I that. I know. Yeah. You're special. I know. Yeah. So, but the options for being a redhead are kind of limited. I, Ronald McDonald. No. Um, Raggedy Ann. Mm. Um, Brody from Homeland. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And Prince Harry. So yeah. I went with Prince Harry. So that's, that's yeah. how... And also I love Kate Middleton. So anything I can do to get closer to her. To get closer to her? Yeah. <laughs> Well, she'll probably call now. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for sure, now that you're Prince Harry in, in costume. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Now, okay. did you like Halloween growing up? I loved Halloween. And you, because Jane did not like it. I did like Halloween growing up. My mom also, like Jane, made um, my costumes a lot. Um, I will say for the first, like, six years of my life, it wasn't as spectacular as it could have been. Um, my, my good mom and dad uh, had my brother John and I switch off every year as either a Superman or a cat. So, um, you know, one year John was Superman and I was a cat, and then the next year the reverse. Just the two outfits. Yeah, wow. and there it is. They're not, they're not like that, you know, no. they're not that elaborate. No, they're not. I don't know why we couldn't have had more. But anyway, I always felt bad for John because, uh, sorry if there's any male cats out there, but you, you would like something probably more, I don't know, something tougher than to be a boy as a cat. Well, I don't know. <laughs> did he hate it? Did he hate being a cat? I actually haven't talked to him about it. This, oh. this is like bringing up some old issues, so well, I'll talk to him after Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. He's at home crying and He's drinking. He's at home yeah. sobbing. Yeah. <laughs> eating, eating kibble yeah. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, whatever that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you were here last time, we, uh, you uh, were getting married, yeah. and since then you have gotten married. Congratulations. Thank you. But, Thanks. Uh, Thanks, guys. I did it. Now, are you Prince Harry? No. All right. So, and we surprised you with a bachelorette uh, party. Which was incredible. Yeah. By so, the way, yes. The, yeah, we just sent out, we actually pretended <laughs> like there was something wrong with, with, we smelled smoke or something. Ellen, yes. And there's a fireman there's that comes fireman, out. There's a fireman, and here we go. I have to tell you, Ellen, you were oh. such a, oh my gosh! First of all, I was about, you were such an amazing actress in that moment that I, you were so real with the fire alarm that I got very nervous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You loved it. Speaking of amazing actor, yes. Yeah. I, oh. <laughs> I thought that someone was gonna get in a lot of trouble because you were like, why is the fire alarm going off? What is happening? And I thought, oh, well, this segment has gone horribly wrong. And then, of course, it's a yes. fireman. 
I have to tell you something. Um, I've had a weird thing about firemen since. I know that you're not like stalking or like lurking behind the corners, but part of me maybe is worried. Maybe I am. <laughs> maybe you are. Um, sp I got back from my honeymoon and we were flying back to New York, uh, or sorry, flying back to Los Angeles from New York. And I, um, I was very, I think I was a little dehydrated that day and I um, was napping throughout the flight, got up to go to the bathroom, okay. Was coming out of the bathroom, felt like a little faint, not sure if it was because I'd gotten up too quick, whatever. I fainted, okay, I fainted. On the plane. On the plane, in the aisle, jet blue, back of the, back of the plane, like not many people saw, so I was like, okay, at least this isn't embarrassing, but I did faint. And so I came to, <laughs> and then um, there was only like 45 minutes of the flight left. But as we're landing, the pilot is saying like, other passengers, please um, be patient. Uh, we have a sick passenger in the back of the plane, which is so embarrassing because now I'm being called out for like being sick. And then they say, please let her off first before you get off. Now, once we land at LAX, um, literally a fireman comes on the plane to escort me out. Because I think it's like for you know, legal purposes or whatever, they, they don't want to be sued, so as long as you don't faint again. But the burliest, strongest fireman I've ever seen comes on the plane, along with like a medic. But I don't know why a fireman was necessary, and I was like, where are the cameras? Where is Ellen lurking? Did you start pushing, putting money in his pants yeah, and stuff? I, like, I know the drill by now. Yeah, all right, take to... it off, mister. <laughs> That's hard. so you really just for a second thought maybe you were actually uh, It was just weird. I mean yeah. I have never come across like big hunky firemen and then twice in two months right. seemed unusual. A lot of firemen are hunky and, they and are. yes. Um, I wanna talk about uh, first of all you did the haunted hallway backstage, so we're gonna show that in a minute. Were you scared? Yes. Oh good. Oh, yes. So we'll be right back. Okay, with Ellie Kemper. Thank you. We're back with uh, Ellie Kemper and um, <laughs> I wanna see the haunted hallway because you went through that. Let's yeah. take a look. Oh no. Oh no! It was scary after yeah, all. It's the jumpy, yeah. Yeah, well, when they're behind you too and you don't expect exactly it. Exactly right, yeah. Um, I want to show a couple of the pictures uh, from your wedding because there's some cute pictures of oh. you. I don't know if it's from your wedding, but it's they, you and your husband. They and, are uh, from my wedding. I guess they are from your no, wedding. this was last Unless Saturday. you wear that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's beautiful. And y'all got oh. married in New York, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. And it was so hot. Are you dancing at the, I, I, at I the church right there? I think I'm rejoicing that, like, finally, like, I don't have to plan it anymore. Oh, that's great. Right. Yeah, well, we I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Always lovely having you here. Thank you so Come back much. anytime. I will. Thank All you. right, The Office here is Thursdays at 9 on NBC. We'll be right back. Ellie Kemper. We all know kids love to play dress up, but we're going to introduce you to a girl who takes it to a whole other level. From Omaha, Nebraska, please welcome eight-year-old Stella Earhart. <laughs> But before we talk about who you are right now, I want you to explain to everybody, I, it, what you do is fascinating. Tell people what you do. Um, I dress up as a historical figure every day for school. And, um, not because you have to, because you want to. Not because I have to, because I want to. Because I think not enough people pay attention to the historical figures. You are so right. So. 
Who are you? Right now, I'm Queen Elizabeth the First. And and why are you? Isn't that fantastic? And tell us why you're Queen Elizabeth the First. Um, I think Queen Elizabeth is a very powerful woman, and she said, "I don't need to get married to have my husband rule this, rule England. I can do it by myself." <laughs> yes, she did. And so you, you've been doing this for how long? When did you start? I started in second grade last year on the second day. Second grade last year on the second day. And now, it's not like once a week I feel like doing this, like every single day you dress up as someone different, right? Yes. And what do your classmates think? They, mostly they think that it's just amazing. Sometimes they're so intrigued that it starts a whole new lesson plan for the day. Wow, that's really cool, because I mean, I think some kids could be cruel and, and make fun of it, but what you're doing is so cool. I love that they really appreciate it. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's look at some people that you've been, and you really are. You're teaching people a lot about these historical figures that, that uh, not enough kids know. So let's look at the first one. And that is, of course? That is Billie Holiday. Billie Holiday. And, uh, and did people know who she was when you went to school as Billie? Uh, not always. The no. teacher would always guess someone differently. Really? For some reason, she'd never guess it. Um, she'd always think someone else. And then um, that's the one that we had to research a lot. Really? Yeah. And, and you should, because she was pretty cool, right? Yeah. And then the second one? Oh, that is Helen Keller, I believe. Helen Keller was incredible, wasn't she? Yes. Yes. Um, Helen Keller was got ill when she was when she was little, mm -hmm. and after she got ill, she couldn't. She was deaf and blind. Mm -hmm. And Anne Sullivan, her teacher, um, taught her how to read Braille and everything. Yes, and she and she was brilliant too. And a lot of people didn't know that until she was able to express herself. Yeah. Um, and then let's take a look at the next one. Oh, that is Norma Jean Baker, also known as Marilyn Monroe, mm -hmm. who, um, she's an actress and a very good one, I think. Yes, she was a very good one. And uh, then, and they're, they're not all historical people. You love your Aunt Pam, and you went dressed as your Aunt Pam one day. Yeah. I bet that was tough for the teacher to figure out who you're... <laughs> yeah. Or did she just go, Aunt Pam? <laughs> it was hard. And then I understood you. You, you uh, I understand you dressed as me one day. Yes. Let's see what you wore dressed as me. That's me. <laughs> exactly how I dress. And now, how much longer will you do this? I want to do it for fourth and fifth and sixth grade, mm -hmm. but it only matters if my teacher allows it. Well, hopefully they'll allow it. I think it's really <laughs> yeah. cool. And you're probably helping the teacher in so many ways, don't you think? Yeah. All right. Um, well, we want to uh, give you something while you're here. We're going to send you, uh, bookit.com is sending you and your whole family to Washington, D.C., where you'll get a VIP tour of the Smithsonian, and you're going to go to the International Spy Museum, and you're going to see a lot of other really cool landmarks. So thank you for being here. I appreciate it. You're terrific. Thank you very much. You're terrific. We'll be right back. All right, I want to show you one more scare. This is one of our staff members, Jacqueline. Uh, she gets scared going down a regular hallway, so I thought it would be really fun to put her through our haunted hallway. Enjoy. for stopping by. That was very sweet of you, Sophia. Thank you. Jane Lynch, Ellie Kemper, and a huge thank you to Duracell. I'll see you tomorrow. Be kind of one another.